Whoa, 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 what's up, you guys? Oh, to the Yippers, it's the Taiga Master! With a Charmander tutorial. Before we begin, make sure to leave a like. Let's try to get the tens of like. Give this a thumbs up. The support is so much greatly appreciated. Now, like with all tutorials, we're going to start off with a circle for the head and a cross to ensure that the right positions of the things like the eyes and the mouth are on the face. Take your pencil and draw a triangle-like shape from the circle. Then at the base of the triangle, find the two corners and draw circles on each side. Now for some noobs! <laughs> Sketch ovals from the top of the triangle to make arms. To draw the feet, draw two triangles from the bottom circle. One pointed to the side and one pointed to the front. Now I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks this. But the feet kind of remind me of curling shoes from D to Z, so if that helps anyone, you know, make sure to keep that in mind. The tail is very much like a crescent shape. We basically just flick our pencils and the curving upward, and that, you know, sometimes if I curve, if I use my pencil really fast, I can get that curve pretty nice. So I don't know if that's going to help you guys. You can also just sketch it. And know, uh, depends on you. But for me, if I flick it really fast, I can get that nice crescent shape. Now draw some flames. To me it looks like a bunch of cut up leaves. <laughs> like the leaf got really cut up, had like a bad day. That's the best way I could describe that flame. And now you want to go ahead and draw the eyes. There's not too much going on with them. They're just basically half ovals with a spark at the top. Which is just simply done by drawing a circle. Now the pupils are also circles like gasp. I bet that just blew your mind, yes. Pupils are circles, and I just added like a wing from the circles to basically create like a shadow for the eye. Below the horizontal line on the left side, we're going to draw a check like indent for Charmander's cute cheeks. Now, Charmander is very happy, keep that in mind. So, we want to draw his smile very, very wide. And since he's a lizard, dragon, creature, dingy, babob. He has a triangular tooth coming from his smile. His nose is super simple, being that they're just pretty much lines um, just above his mouth. It's really easy. <laughs> we can start cleaning up our pretty drawing a bit since we have all the main features done. Okay, now this is going this is going to be a little bit hard. We're going to try something different, you guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking, you guys. No. We're literally just going to add more triangles to the ends of the arms to make some fingers, okay? <laughs> Why am I so hyper? <laughs> okay, so we're going to erase some random stuffing from the legs, and then we're going to add the underlining for the tail. And because we want to eat to... Uh, because we want to be even more repetitive, let's draw triangles to the feet and erase even more we will find some features to make sure everything's in place you can keep with the one tooth but i decided to add more to add to the lizardiness i really don't know what charmander's supposed to be if you guys know enlighten me in the comments because i i have no idea what charmander's supposed to be. oh it's pro it's a dragon isn't it because charizard's a dragon so i'm assuming you know, that might actually not be true, because I know some Pokemon don't actually follow that same principle, but, you know, anyway. Finally, we add the tongue, which are essentially heels, the eyelids, and the stomach oval thingy. Now, this oval is in line with the nose, and it connects right to the leg. And, basically, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> you happy? We, we did it. We did it. Yes. So what you can do is add a, some backgrounds to your sketch before you ink in color. The main colors are going to be orange and yellow. Um, you can use a red to add shading. So, alright, just, just jump in right into the speed drawing segment of this drawing. Did I just say the speed drawing segment of this drawing? So much repetition. Oh my goodness. Alright, anyway. So essentially, like the Pikachu tutorial, I take these art pieces as an opportunity to discover, experiment, and even create new techniques and concepts 
to apply it to my serious pieces. Like I said, this is this is not a, this is not a serious piece. Okay, there are problems. I know. Don't freak out. I, I know. I know. Like I've said before, digital painting is not my strongest area. I personally like to sell shade, but remember, remember what I'm going to say, guys. You cannot. You cannot grow if you don't challenge yourself. You gotta get yourself out of the comfort zone, which is what I'm doing. I wanted to make this realistic, so I didn't add borders. But I realized that one of the reasons why this looks kind of strange is because I didn't add any outlines. Um, I also practiced with textures and applied some photo manipulations to add a realistic touch, but I didn't really like it. The main reason why I think I had so much trouble with this was because it's I'm trying to be consistent to the original style, um, which I I normally I normally don't do that. I like to incorporate my own style because of course I have more freedom. But when you're doing a tutorial, I'm doing a tutorial, of course, so I have to kind of stick. I have to keep it to look at someone like Charmander. You know, I can't go I can't go too crazy. But if this, if I was just drawing Charmander, I would do this in a completely different style. And I guess making it more realistic would be much, much more easier. Now, I want to apologize for not uploading a gameplay last week. My internet went down, so just to make it up, I'm going to be posting every day this week. So stay tuned, especially for my speed draw on Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys had a great time drawing cute little Charmander. Share this with your friends so they can learn how to draw Pokemon too. If you do end up using this tutorial to draw Charmander, I have an Instagram. So if you take a picture of it, tag me in it so I can see. <laughs> I would love to see how you guys do. Alrighty. Boop, boop.